Welcome to Comics on a Pyre, a channel to have a meaningful conversation over movies, life, books, and shows, and maybe just a spot to spend time BSing over comics. If you like your entertainment with a bit of substance, then you, my vagabond friend, have come to the right tavern. Tether your horse by the post and come right on in and warm yourself by the fire. Tap that subscribe button, and for the next few minutes, my fellow George Carlin reprobate, lend me your ear. I don't know how most felt about the Morbius trailer, but I thought it looked damn good myself. An MCU's pick of Jared Leto to play the living vampire is turning out to be a spot on casting choice. As he looks believably decrepit in one scene and buffed and full of strength in another. The transition it seems is turning out quite nicely. Hopefully this can help him bounce back in most comic book fans eyes due to his disappointing reviews as the Joker in the Suicide Squad movie released back in 2016. Me, personally, I didn't think he did that bad. He just didn't have enough screen time to flush out his character and let him breathe a little. But after all, who could blame him? I mean, it was a Suicide Squad movie and not a Joker movie after all. Anyway, I just saw the Morbius trailer and thought it looked on fleek, as the kids say. So I decided to take a closer look at it, scene by scene, and see if I can shake some Easter eggs loose from the basket and try to guess to some degree of accuracy what we are all in store for. So with that being said, let's begin. Right away, you see a scene of Michael Morbius walking on crutches. If you know anything about the comic book character, then you know that all his life, Michael has suffered from a rare but deadly blood condition he has had since his birth, which made his body extremely weak. Sadly to say though, this condition through time gets worse, threatening to end his very life. But this same disease is what spurs him on into a life dedicated to medicine. In the comics, he is a world-renowned biochemist who has won the coveted Nobel Prize in medicine. No doubt, that is what we are seeing in this scene. In an attempt to cure himself, Michael in the comics, Amazing Spider-Man number 102, he distills the fluids of a vampire bat, taking its extract. With this serum and a process he calls electrical creation of blood cell, he hopes to rid himself of the lifelong debilitating disease. What's pretty cool is that after the effects of the experiment, the comic and the movie seem to have the same scene. Morbius is locked in a containment unit after the experiment because his fellow researcher is afraid of the experiment's after effects and wants to take no chances with their lives. But in the comics, once Morbius is free, he takes the life of his co-researcher and lifelong friend, Nikos, in a mad bloodlust. Let's hope the same fate does not await the movie's counterpart. Another thing we see in the trailer is a huge cargo ship out at sea. There was a similar boat in Morbius' first appearance in Amazing Spider-Man issue number 101. The only difference here is that the trailer, it seems, is overrun by military special ops units that are all decked out with machine guns and scopes. While in the comics, the crew was just a group of regular sailors who found Morbius' body at sea and decided to rescue him from what they concluded was certain death. Now, sadly, this act of benevolence proves their undoing and they all got killed by Morbius one night, each to the last man, one by one. Two things you see is Spider-Man's figure painted on an alleyway wall in one of the background scenes and of course, Michael Keaton's cameo towards the end. This allows me to surmise two things. One, that Spider-Man himself may be in this movie. And it serves it right, since it was in the very pages as mentioned before that Morbius made his first appearance into comics. And the second thing that I'm hypothesizing is that the movie follows the events that occurred in both Spider-Man Far From Home and Homecoming. Because you can clearly see graffiti on his mural, Spider-Man is labeled a murderer. And Michael Keaton's character seems to be in the same prison garb that he wears at the end of Homecoming. In closing, 
I'm glad to see that the movie is staying pretty close to the comic source material. Cause even though the Marvel character Morbius has many vampire characteristics, he is not a traditional vampiric being. His powers were derived from scientific origins and not by supernatural actions, such as being bit by a vampire, the way it has traditionally been done. I feel this is an important distinction with the character's development. It will explain why Morbius is different than an average vampire, and though they may look alike, they do have different attributes and weaknesses. For instance, Morbius does not possess any of the mystical vulnerabilities that supernatural vampires are subjected to, such as garlic, holy water, crucifixes, or silver. Morbius has a strong aversion to sunlight, but thanks to his photosensitive skin, it allows him to move around during the day. In contrast to direct, true vampires who are instantly incinerated when they see the sunlight, which results in his ability to move around during daytime. But take note, his powers are diminished at such time, and he will stick to the shade if circumstances demand it. But on the flip side, Morbius lacks the shape-shifting and weather control powers of supernatural vampires and the ability to control minds of certain animals. So I'm not sure what we're seeing here in this scene. But like true vampires, Morbius does possess the ability to hypnotize beings of lesser willpower and bring them under his control, which can only be resisted by those possessing an extremely strong will. Well, that's it for now. Hopefully, I've given you a lot to think about. If you want to see more videos like this one, then by all means, visit my comic book YouTube channel, Comics on the Pyre, for other videos like this one. Tap that bell icon before you go. And oh yes, as always, until next time, keep reading my friends.